Hi, I'm Ken Schultz, a licensed sales representative from Humana, and I'm here to talk with you today about the Humana Gold Plus HMO Health Plan. Humana Gold Plus HMO is a Medicare Advantage health plan that can help protect you from high out-of-pocket costs. Humana, headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky, is one of the nation's largest publicly traded health benefits companies with more than 50 years of experience in the health industry. We offer national coverage providing Medicare plans in 50 states and Puerto Rico. Nearly 4 million Medicare Advantage and standalone prescription drug plan members have chosen Humana. Let's find out why. Here's what we'll cover today. First, I'll give you some important dates to remember and what's new this year in Medicare. Then, we'll talk about choosing a plan. Next, we'll review the Humana Gold Plus HMO plan. And finally, I'll tell you how to enroll. Although we're here today to talk about the Humana Gold Plus HMO health plan, it's important to look at your options and then choose a plan that you're comfortable with. After the presentation, you may still have a few questions, but you'll have an understanding of how a Medicare Advantage plan works, what you need to do to join, and what the Humana plan has to offer. Let's talk about when you can join a Medicare Advantage or prescription drug plan. October 1st through October 14th is pre-enrollment. That's when you should compare the plan options and costs to decide which plan is right for you. You cannot enroll in a plan until October 15th. October 15th through December 7th is called the Annual Election Period, AEP. You have several options to consider during the AEP. You can enroll in a standalone prescription drug plan, or you can enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that includes a prescription drug benefit. You can also change from one Medicare Advantage plan or prescription drug plan to a different one during this time if you prefer. Your plan selection becomes effective on January 1st. January 1st through February 14th is called the Annual Disenrollment Period, ADP. During this time, people who already have Medicare Advantage plans can return to Original Medicare and enroll in a standalone prescription drug plan. You will no longer be able to switch Medicare Advantage carriers during this time. From February 15th through October 14th, you are generally not allowed to make changes unless you move, qualify, or lose eligibility for Medicaid or other special circumstances that apply to you. There are several ways to receive your Medicare coverage. So what are your Medicare options? Option number one, original Medicare. That's one of your choices. If you go that route, you may need to enroll in a separate Medicare Part D prescription drug plan, often called a standalone PDP. That's because original Medicare doesn't cover prescription drugs. Option number two, original Medicare plus a Medigap policy plus a prescription drug plan. Many people who select original Medicare purchase Medicare supplemental insurance, a Medigap policy. They do this to reduce their financial liability. If they need drug coverage, they add a prescription drug plan too. Or option number three, Medicare Advantage. You can elect to get your Medicare through Medicare Advantage. With many Medicare Advantage plans, you get a health plan, drug coverage, and you won't need Medicare supplemental insurance. One plan, one company, easy. What we will discuss today is the Medicare Advantage option. So what are Medicare Advantage health plans? The Federal Government Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, refers to Medicare Advantage plans as Medicare Part C. Private insurance companies approved by Medicare provide this coverage. Most have lower out-of-pocket costs than with original Medicare. Many plans offer health and drug coverage as well as extra benefits. Medicare Advantage plans must offer all benefits of original Medicare and can include Part D prescription drug coverage. And there's less claims paperwork to file. It's important to note that Medicare Advantage plans are not Medicare supplement plans. Remember, when you enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, you still have Medicare. You don't lose it. You're just choosing to take the Medicare Advantage version of Medicare. 
the version that's administered by a private company rather than the federal government. Here's something for your peace of mind. Medicare Advantage plans are reviewed and approved annually by CMS. By approving a plan, they're saying that the benefits in total are at least as good as original Medicare benefits. You don't have to worry about being surprised later on. Humana Gold Plus HMO is an approved plan. You may question how Humana can do so much for you without charging more than we do. When you join Humana, the federal agency that runs Medicare, CMS, will pay us a flat monthly amount while you are a member of our Medicare Advantage plan. The money is sent whether you have claims or not. When you have claims for using plan benefits, the claims come to Humana and we are responsible for paying them. That's what we do with the money we receive. We process and pay your claims and administer the plan. Now, let's talk about the specific plan we're presenting today, the Humana Gold Plus HMO. With an HMO, there's an established Humana network of participating doctors, specialists, hospitals, and other medical and service providers. You'll be required to receive services from network providers, except in the case of urgent or emergency care needed while away. An exception is you may see a non-network provider or receive non-network service only if approved by your primary care physician and the plan first. You'll have a primary care physician, and with most HMO plans, you'll need referrals from your primary care physician for most specialist visits. On the other hand, you'll have low out-of-pocket costs. Check with your sales agent on whether the HMO plan in your area requires primary care physician referrals. Review our provider directory and see if your current doctor participates. If your physician doesn't, the plan may bring you such value that it's worth changing physicians. If that's the case, you simply select a primary care physician from the directory, and you can change your primary care physician monthly in case your choice doesn't suit you. With an HMO, your out-of-pocket cost may be significantly lower than what you're paying now. It's important also to understand that if an HMO plan does not cover prescription drugs, CMS does not allow you to combine a prescription drug plan with it. Ask your sales agent if the plan he or she reviews with you today has prescription drug coverage. For those plans with prescription drug coverage, it's important for you to review the formulary. A formulary is the list of medicines covered by each prescription drug plan. You need to make sure that the plan you choose covers the drugs you use. So before you decide on a plan, consult with a knowledgeable representative about the specific drugs it covers. Or you can always look up your prescription drugs and the cost on our website at humana-medicare.com 24 hours a day. Something new again this year will be the amount you pay for prescription drugs if or when you enter into the coverage gap or donut hole as it's sometimes called. The agent discussing this plan with you today will be giving you more information on when the coverage gap begins with this plan in just a while. It used to be that once you were in the coverage gap, you were responsible for paying 100% for your prescription medications. Now, due to the Health Care Reform Act, you will only pay 79% of the cost of many generic drugs and generally no more than 47.5% for many brand name drugs. This is good news as it results in dollars saved for you. People with Medicare who receive a low income subsidy or are enrolled in an employer sponsored retiree drug plan with exception of employer groups with waivers won't be eligible for this discount. And not all brand name drugs will be covered. The manufacturers must agree with the federal government's Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services terms and conditions to contract with Medicare. If the manufacturer doesn't comply, they won't be able to work with Medicare plans. It's important to pick a plan that best suits your needs. Many people aren't sure how to select the plan that's best for them. Here are a few suggestions. One suggestion is to fill out a suitability assessment form. The second one is to write down answers to these questions. What type of plan do I currently have? What do I like about my coverage? What would I add to my current coverage to make it ideal? And does anyone help me make decisions about my health care and should they be present? 
The answers to these questions will leave you feeling much more confident in making your enrollment decision. If you're covered by both Medicare and Medicaid, you may be eligible for a special kind of Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan. You should contact your state Medicaid agency and your doctor to determine if a special needs plan, SNP, for dual eligibles is a good option for you. If you choose to enroll in a dual eligible special needs plan, you may be responsible for any premiums, deductibles, co-payments, and co-insurance associated with this plan's services depending on the level of extra help and or Medicaid coverage you receive. You may be able to get extra help to pay for your prescription drug premiums and costs. To see if you qualify for getting extra help, call 1-800-MEDICARE. That's 1-800-633-4227. TTY users should call 1-877-486-2048, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Social Security Office at one 800 772-1213 between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. TTY users should call 1-800-325-0778 or your state Medicaid office. Need more assistance? Since this is an overview, I suspect you may have some questions. Here's where to get answers. The Medicare and You Handbook which you should receive in the mail from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. You can go to www.medicare.gov. It's the Medicare website and contains a lot of helpful information about Medicare benefits and prescription drug plans. Another contact is your local state health insurance program. You can also talk to the Humana representative who reviews your specific plan benefits today. So, are you eligible for the Humana Gold Plus HMO Health Plan? It's easy to find out. You must be enrolled in Medicare Part A and Part B through age or disability. To enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan from any insurance company, you must live in an area served by that company. That's what we mean by the plan service area. To get coverage, you must join a Medicare-approved plan offered by a Medicare-approved organization. Medicare has approved the Humana Gold Plus HMO plan. Federal law will not allow us to accept anyone who has end-stage renal disease, kidney failure, unless you are a member of another health plan offered by the same organization within the same state or were enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan which was terminated or discontinued after December 31st, 1998, and this is your first election following that plan termination or discontinuance. But if you are diagnosed with kidney failure after enrolling in our plan, you will be covered by our plan. So what are the next steps? If you're interested in enrolling today, first review the benefits and complete an application to enroll. The representative with you today will go over the plan benefits and have an application for you. Within the next 15 days, you will receive a verification call. This call will be to verify what we discussed today about your plan elections. Once you become a Humana member, you will receive your ID card in the mail. You will also be asked to complete Humana's health assessment. This assessment will allow you to see if you may qualify for special health programs. You should take full advantage of your plan benefits and extras and attend a member orientation, which will help you use your plan and extra services to their full advantage. You can contact Humana or your Humana agent anytime you want if you have questions. Now, let's talk about the specific benefits of the plan. A Humana or authorized sales representative will review the following documents with you. The summary of benefits and the drug formulary. Thanks so much for your attention. For Humana, I'm Ken Schultz.